What's up YouTube, your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install this Cardo Pack Talk Bowl inside of a modular helmet. I picked up this HJC IS Max 2 helmet. One of the things that I like about it is the helmet is already Bluetooth compatible. The installation of the Cardo is basically the same whether it's a modular helmet or a non-modular helmet. I have the components laid out on the table. So this is not going to be a, a unboxing video, but a basic installation. So let's get started. Golden Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. Owner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Looking at some of the items on the table will be the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. When you open it up from the box, it's going to already come installed on a clamp, and this clamp goes to the side of the helmet it clamps on the side but it also comes with an optional sticky mount side so if you don't want to use the clamp you can use the sticky mount to release the clip if you want to use the sticky mount you want to press in on this little tab on the inside and it will release it off the clamp i'm going to press in on the the tab get my finger behind it and now I can slide it from off the clip. So if you want to stick it to the side of the helmet, now you can use the 3M side and slide it down. Or you can use the clip side. For me, I prefer to use the clip side. Again, when you open it up from the box, it's going to already be on this left-handed clip. I can stick that to the side. Looking at some of the other components in the kit, you have the JBL speakers. And if you notice, one speaker is longer than the other. The short speaker will be closer to the unit that's mounted on the left side of the helmet. The longer speaker will go on the opposite side of the helmet, farther away from the main unit. Also in the kit, you have two microphones. You have a boom microphone and you have a a lapel microphone. The lapel microphone can be used for non-modular helmets and I prefer to use the boom mic for a modular helmet. You have alcohol prep pads. Also you have a couple of velcro standoffs and basically once you mount these in the helmet it'll push the speakers closer to your ear. Now, I basically never use these, but you do have the option to put it in your helmet and this will push the speakers closer to your ear. So I'm just going to set those to the side. It also has several Velcro pads. These pads will mount into the helmet and they will basically hold the speakers inside of the helmet. So you have several Velcro pads. And you have a boom mic clip. And this boom mic clip will hold the boom mic closer or it will stabilize the microphone inside of the helmet. And you put Velcro on the other side. I'll show you guys how I do it. And that is basically it for the kit other than a charging cable. So let's just take a look at how this is going to look once you get it connected. So when you're looking at this main unit here, you got two plugs. You got a 3.5 millimeter plug. This would be for the actual speakers. So you're going to plug in the JBL speakers like so. Which only leaves one plug and this is for the microphone. You can either use the boom mic or you can use the lapel mic. So for example, it has a couple of arrows on each end. You can line up the arrows 
And now this is what it will look like inside of the helmet. I want to unplug the speakers and the microphone. And now we can work on getting the main unit mounted on the helmet. One of the, and this is one of the things I like about the HJC IS Max 2 is that the helmet is already set up to take in a Bluetooth. So one of the first things I want to do is remove the inner liners and I want to remove the cheek pads of the helmet. I'm going to remove the tag. So next I want to open up the helmet and expose the ear pockets and I want to remove the cheek pads by unsnapping it. You got snaps inside so you want to unsnap it. That's one. Two. Three. And now I can slide one of the cheek pads out, set that to the side. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Unsnap the cheek pads. One, two, three. And now I can slide the cheek pad out. Okay. Next, I want to unsnap the helmet liner. You got three snaps in the back, three or two snaps. One, two snaps in the back. And I'm not going to remove the helmet liner. I'm just going to move it forward to expose the inside of the helmet. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape to hold back the straps so they don't be in the way. I'm just going to take one of the straps and I'm just going to tape it to the side. You don't have to do this. It just makes it easier if it's a one person uh, installation. makes it a lot easier so now nothing is in the way and now I've exposed the inside of the helmet if you take a look at the the ear pockets here they're already recessed they're already set up for speakers this is one of the things that I do like about the HJC is that it's already set up to accept the Bluetooth I want to take my alcohol prep and I want to clean the inside real good. Make sure we get a good adhesive bond. And I'm just cleaning anywhere that I'm going to install Velcro. And while that's drying, basically what I'm going to do is take one of the uh, Velcros and I'm going to mount it on the inside of the helmet. Now, why they made it square, I don't know because the speakers are actually round. But that shouldn't affect the way that the speakers will sit in the helmet. So the first thing I want to do after it dries is I want to apply the Velcro pad inside of the ear pocket. Be careful not to touch the back. I'm just going to sit it inside. Like so. And press it down so it'll get a good bun. I'm going to grab another Velcro pad and do the same to the other side. Make sure it's dry. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to apply the pad to the other side. Now I want to go ahead and mount the main unit to the side of the helmet. It's going to go on the left side. And I want to slide it right in that seam. I'm going to just kind of line it up and slide it right in that seam. Be careful not to press these wires on the bottom. And just kind of work it in. So just be careful. Okay, so now I have it, I have the wires kind of lined up with that seam. And it's tight, it's not going anywhere. Okay, now I can go ahead and mount the speakers. You want the shortest speaker closer to the main unit. Okay, I'm going to just put it there, like so. And you're going to take the long speaker and put it on the opposite side, farther away from the main unit. And I'm just going to put it in like so. Okay, now I can go ahead and plug it in. Plug it into the 3.5 millimeter female. Okay, I have that plugged in. And depending on which microphone you want to use on a modular helmet, I like to use the boom mic. It's going to mount to the side. So what I'm going to do, I can go ahead and plug in the microphone. It has arrows at the top that's going to point to line up. And now, just want to find a spot to mount the boom mic. So I'm going to put some Velcro right on the side of this cheek pad. Just gonna put some Velcro right there. Okay. And this little clip here would mount on the side of the boom. It'll keep it uh, locked in place. So I'm going to put this Velcro right along this mount. And now I can take the little clip and clip it just like so. The arrow on the microphone would be the side closer to your mouth. So now all I have to do is some wire management.
I can take the wire and just kind of push it down in the crease. And it's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, I like to use a little painter's tape to kind of help hold it down. Being careful not to crimp the wires because you don't want to cause a short. So now I can take a little painter's tape. Just kind of lay it down like so. Just going to keep it pressed down. You don't have to use tape, but it just makes it easier for the installation. Okay, now I can go ahead and replace the cheek pads to the left and right side of the helmet. Now, before you replace the uh, cheek pads, one of the things I want to point out is that the side where the unit is located, you may have to take some scissors and cut out a little uh, notch for the wires. If you look at the original cheek pad, it's all one piece. So what I did was just took some heavy duty scissors and just cut out a little notch on the right side. Well, actually I cut out a little notch on the left side of the helmet. And also let me point this out as well. The speakers, once they are mounted in the helmet on the cheek pad, it has a thick foam that's going to cover up the speaker. Uh, one thing that I recommend that you do is cut this thick foam away from the cheek pad. That way you can hear the speakers a lot better. Again, that's your option. You may not want to cut your cheek pad, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. And I just want to cut away the part that's going to interfere with the speakers. So now when I mount it in the helmet, the notch is going to go right over the wires that goes on the left side. Just going to slide it in like so. And now I can begin the process of snapping down the cheek pad. Gonna have to put some pressure on that to get it to snap down over the microphone. Got another snap on the inside. And like I said, the principle is basically the same. Some helmets are different, but the principle is basically the same. So as you can see, the speaker is exposed. If I would have left the foam on top of it, it will muffle out the sound. So I just use some scissors and cut away the foam that's covering the speakers. I'm going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to cut away this foam. It's not going to hurt a thing. Let's cut it away. Three snaps on the back. I'm going to remove the tape. Put 
press the cheek pad in. Should have three snaps. One, two, three. And cover. And now I can go ahead and replace the inner liner. Being careful not to cover up the uh, ventilation with the wires. Being careful. And now I can snap the liner back to the helmet. Two snaps. One, two. Out of your mouth. You want to make sure that that arrow, that yellow arrow, is on the side of your mouth. And that's pretty much it. So now I can snap the cardo to the helmet. Let the antenna up. And this is how you install the Cardo Pack Talk Bold to a modular helmet. If you was going to use a non-modular helmet, you could actually use the lapel mic and stick it somewhere along the jaw portion of the non-modular helmet. But for this modular helmet, I prefer to use the boom mic. But anyway, that's basically it. That's one thing I do love about the HJC IS Max 2 is the ear pockets are already cut out. And the installation uh, was pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or any comments about the installation, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, feel free to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente garage, just showing you how to install the Cardo Pack Talk Bold to a HJC IS Max 2 modular helmet. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.